Um, we have the opportunity uh, today, and more importantly, the Secretary General has the opportunity to the President um, in a short while to uh, talk about our plans for the Vilnius Summit next month. Um, a very, very important milestone uh, for the entire alliance. Uh, and I think we can say uh, with um, conviction that you'll see at the summit the alliance reaffirm uh, its um, commitment, of course, shared commitment to Article 5 and to defending every inch of NATO territory. Um, you will see us uh, following up on our commitment to reinforce our defense investments, to strengthening even more the Alliance's uh, deterrent and defense uh, capacity, uh, and to operationalize many of the plans and uh, programs that uh, we'll put in place in the strategic concept and that continue to be uh, elaborated uh, right now in advance of the summit. Um, I anticipate as well that you'll see a robust package of both political and practical support for Ukraine coming from the, uh, the summit. Uh, we uh, believe as well that uh, it is the time to welcome Sweden as the next member of the alliance after having had a, a, an important and um, I think very appropriate process for succession to uh, address uh, appropriate concerns of, uh, of other allies. And we also look forward to um, strengthening even more our partnership with uh, countries in the Indo Pacific. So there's a broad and deep agenda, uh, but of course, the details are important. We'll continue to, uh, to work on those in the weeks ahead, but uh, I think the Secretary General's meeting here today, but especially with the President, is an important opportunity to make sure that we have good alignment heading into Vilnius. So Jens, as always, welcome. It's great to be with you. Thank you so much, uh, Secretary Blinken, dear Tony, and uh, let me thank you for our friendship, for our partnership, and for your strong leadership uh, in critical time for our uh, security. And uh, let me also thank uh, uh, the United States and President Biden for uh, everything you do to strengthen the transatlantic bond, and of course the, uh, the support you provide to, uh, to Ukraine. Um, European allies are also uh, doing their part uh, with tens of billions of uh, economic uh, military support uh, to Ukraine. And the support NATO allies and partners are delivering to Ukraine is making difference uh, on the battlefield uh, as we speak. Because the Ukrainians have launched the uh, offensive, they are making uh, advances, uh, they are gaining ground. This is still early days, uh, but uh, what we all know is that uh, the more land the Ukrainians are able to liberate, uh, the stronger their hand will be at the negotiating table, and the more likely it is that President Putin will understand that he will never win this battle, that he will never win the war of aggression uh, on uh, the battlefield. So therefore I'm extremely grateful for your personal commitment uh, to the continued support uh, to, uh, to Ukraine, uh, Secretary Lincoln. Um, as you mentioned, we are now preparing for the upcoming NATO summit uh, in uh, Vilnius. Uh, we will there agree to uh, sustain and step up uh, the support uh, for Ukraine, further strengthen our deterrence and defense, which includes uh, a, a more uh, a stronger commitment to increase uh, defense spending. And I expect allies to agree that 2% uh, of GDP for defense should be a minimum on what we should all uh, invest in our uh, defense, in our uh, uh, collective uh, uh, security. Um, uh, we will strengthen our uh, partnership with the Indo-Pacific uh, uh, partners and uh, uh, we all of course look forward to welcoming Sweden as a full a member of the alliance as soon as possible. So once again Tony, thank you for our friendship and uh, thank you for everything you do for the alliance. Thank you. Thanks, Ed. Thanks everyone.